Hello, in this session, we will look at an introduction to null resources. So we'll basically understand what null resources are and what are some use cases we have for the null resources. Now, null resources can be used if you want to create a resource block, but you do not want it to create any resources. So basically, you'll be creating an empty resource block, uh, which will not really uh, create any resources for us. This will follow the resources standard lifecycle, meaning uh, it will show you that it is creating a resource, it is destroying a resource, but it will not take any further action for us. So meaning this will not create any resources on the cloud platform. So let's say you are uh, creating a resource block for AWS. However, you're not uh, creating any instance, instances, you're creating an empty um, resource block which is your null resource uh, this will not create any resources for us so as the name suggests null resource will not exist or create any resources in the cloud so basically this will be an you can think of it as an empty variable you're declaring a variable but it's not really doing anything for it. it's a dummy variable that you are creating however this has some use cases as to where we can utilize this uh, null resources so the reason for this is uh, there is not a uh, Terraform state associated with this. So whenever uh, we create a resource block with the null resource, uh, Terraform will not maintain a state for this. So the state file will not contain any uh, information related to this. So even if you update the null resource within your configuration files or if you modify something, your Terraform will not really uh, look at it and you can update it as many times you want. Terraform is not going to do anything with it be simply because it does not maintain any state related to the null resource. So Terraform null resources can be used in the following uh, scenarios. So you can use this to run some commands or execute some scripts. So maybe uh, you can use this with your local provisioner or you can use this with your remote provisioner to run some commands or to run some script. So like I said, you can use this with the local exec provisioner or you can use this with the remote exec provisioner you can also use this with the file provisioner when you want to run some commands or copy some uh, files. You can also use this with Terraform module, Terraform count, Terraform data source, and also you can use this with the output block. So like I already said, uh, this does not really create any resources for us, but some of the use cases we have is the following ones all right so uh, like i said you want to run some commands or um, uh, use it with your output blocks we can make use of your uh, null resource for that now in the next session we will look at an example for this but that's basically what your introduction to null resources are that's all for this uh, session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video